Hi, it's me again, the Himarides guy. Uh, I've been absent for a time now, I've had uh, some stuff come up, I finally found a job, so I apologize for the lack of videos, however, I am back now. And uh, this is something I've been meaning to do for a while now. Today, I will review two of Luis Preto's DVDs. <laughs> So, these are the two DVDs that I'll be reviewing. First, full disclosure, I did get both DVDs as review copies, that's the first thing. Second thing is, I personally know Luis Preto. I have been training with him, actually I was training with him. Um, not much, mind you, but um, enough to know how he thinks, enough to know what skill level he is at, and it might have given me uh, both some bias towards these two DVDs, as well as uh, some extra insight in how he thinks, why he does things the way he does them. So without further ado, let's get into the two DVDs. I also have a written review if you're more interested in that. I'll put a description down because this will be more or less just a repetition of that. Both DVDs are excellent. Uh, they are DVDs about Jogo do Pau, which is a Portuguese martial art. So it's a still living tradition, which I think is invaluable for HEMA. They also do some uh, competition type stuff. Uh, they do it with full gear and with padded sticks, uh, which is great because they can do it at full speed. And it's very interesting to see how it developed. So uh, this one is the DVD that focuses more on the development. So how it developed, why it developed. It also has some decision making in it, especially in the extra, which is, by the way, uh, excellent. But you will find out how and why certain things developed the way they did. Uh, Portuguese... Uh, the Portuguese art of Jogo de Pau is a stick fighting art, so you have both the large stick and the short stick. Uh, so you can get the basic principles for both uh, sorts of weapons, so two-handed and single-handed. Now what I really love about Luis's approach, as well as Jogo de Pau in general, is just how universal it is. Uh, it's you know, in German tradition, which is why what I train, you have a lot of very fancy, very difficult to pull off moves, such as uh, the Kurzhau or the the Zwerg combinations uh, or the Schilhau and stuff like that. Jogo de Pau doesn't focus on that. It focuses on distance, on proper striking, and on the most effective way of defense and counterattacking which I think is excellent, because this is something that has just started happening in HEMA, so we didn't actually build on the basics when we started out. This, I'm talking about 10 years ago, obviously, not now. Um, when we just started out, we were so excited about the prospect of all these fancy, awesome techniques that uh, we, we didn't really not do basics, but we neglected them in favor of more fancy stuff. Whereas Jogo de Pau, because it's a living tradition, because it has had so much time to see what works and what doesn't, focuses on the basics first, and then when you have the basics mastered, the fancy stuff is that much easier to do. Um, so not only that, it also has some extremely good tactics, uh, ways of thinking. So this is basically just how to strike... Uh, when to strike and how to counter and when to counter when a, a, your opponent does certain things. And some of these things are so bloody commonsensical, they are so logical when someone else tells you them. Because I know that I personally, some of these things, I, I was training for about six years I think before uh, Luis came and I talked to him and he told me some of these stuff before I even saw the DVDs and it completely blew my mind because it was so bloody obvious. Um, for example, some of his parries, why you should parry uh, so with a point up sometimes and when you should parry with a point down, uh, his explanations made so much sense. Uh, also, why certain guards have advantages against other guards. I think it isn't actually, it, it does um, talk a little bit about, he does talk a little bit about that in his DVDs as well, I think in both of them. Um, but just the way he thinks kind of makes you do a mind shift. So it changes up your view of how combat works. And something that challenges your view on how combat works is invaluable for martial artists. So this is something, both of these DVDs, something that is extremely similar 
yet very different from standard HEMA. I warmly recommend that you get at least one of them. Now, content-wise, they are pretty similar, but they have important distinctions. If you can, I advise you get both of them. If not, and you're a more advanced student, get Combat Tactics. If you're a newer student, get From Battlefields to Dueling. Also get this if you're interested in uh, the development of a living HEMA tradition. So not from since it became Jogo du Pao to now, but more from the medieval ages to now. Uh, both these DVDs, I think, are excellent. Uh, they helped me personally quite a lot, as well as most of what Luis said really uh, struck, struck a deep chord with me and made me reevaluate uh, how I do certain things. Um, so, as I said, I might be biased. Uh, however, listening to other people talk about uh, Luis's teachings Luis's teachings, that sounds like he's... never mind. Uh, however, listening to other people talk about how Luis, Luis teaches makes me think that it wasn't just me, so that this is actually of great value to the uh, community of HEMA as a whole. Once again, warmly recommended, get at least one of these DVDs. I think um, this should be in every swordsman's library alongside uh, Keith uh, Farrell's um, uh, AHA guide. Uh, and yeah, that's basically it. Thank you for listening. I hope you found this helpful. Um, again, I'm sorry I couldn't be unbiased towards this, so I'm not giving it any grades. Uh, I do recommend them, though. So until next time, have a good one. Uh, I have a ton of things I need to review. I'm planning on getting a name and fencing jacket to review, the one with the guards. I have... Um, Nylon Swords from Black Fencer, uh, which surprised me in a very positive way to review, uh, and a couple of other things, like the I still haven't reviewed the Dark Sword Feather, which is, it's good, but it isn't perfect. It's, it's, but I think it is worth, worth its money, and um, the Dark Sword is on a very good path to making some very valuable training tools. So thank you, subscribe, have a good day, all that jazz, and see you next time.